Well, delighted to be joined. First Christmas racing period by Patrick Mullins to reflect on one or two, another wonderful Christmas for the close Sutton team. Patrick and State Man, impressive in the Matheson hurdle. What new road charge on the race? What did you make of the performance? Yeah, I thought it was a good performance. Um, you know, I think he probably improved slightly from the more of the end. He definitely jumped a lot slicker. Uh, we went to a reasonable gallop, which she's electric, bringing us along. Um, Sharon made a mistake at the second, which isn't like him, that obviously put us out of the race. Um, and Bourbon obviously ran in very well, but I think the statement won very handily. He just, um, you know, Paul didn't really ask him to race until after the last. He was able to stay on the ride until going around the last, and I think there was plenty more in the tank. And it's now two champion hurdles, you presume, Honeysuckle, then Constitution Hill lying in wait. Does he, is he giving you that feeling now that this is a championship class horse? Yeah, well, look, that's what we're hoping for. Um, that's what we're hoping for. And he, I think he's a type that probably only does enough anyway. Um, you know, he's he can be quite laid back. Um, I know maybe people were crabbing his jumping in the Morgana, but he, he won a, a county hurdle on his third chase run. So I'd say he's one able to jump at speed. Um, look, Constitution Hill is obviously it's a fair standard. Um, but I think it'll be a fascinating contest with him taking on Honeysuckle in February. And um, I suppose that will let us know more no, let us know more about where we stand. But we'd have to think, um, you know, after Honey Sucker getting beaten on her on her debut, she, she's there now to have a go at. So that'd be very interesting. A horse you know well, Fasil Vega, another win over hurdles, a, a grade one win. What did you make of that performance? Yeah, uh, obviously, Ilita Thomas um, jammed on a bit at first, so Paul took it up. Um, you know, he was a little bit guessy at times. Um, you know, he, he would like to see him sharp up a bit with that, but he's not an ex point of pointer, so you know, he's going to learn more than a horse that has either come from France or comes from a point of pointer. So, you need to remember to probably give him a little bit more leeway than that type of horse. Um, you know, I don't think it was visually impressive, but at the same time, I think again, like Statement Paul just stayed on the bridle until after the last hurdle and then went away. I think if Paul had let him down turning in, he'd have won. 10 or 15 lengths, um, but we didn't go a mad gallop, and yet uh, the three horses, uh, Internet, uh, Gordon Elliott's horse, and Pat, Pat Doru of Gavin Crumbles, you know, they got left well behind, and Astro Diamond, who, you know, I was riding her to run well, um, you know, riding, riding her to pick up the pieces, get some prize money, and if it fell into an lap, great, but she's at a fair standard. Um, so I, I thought it was a better performance than perhaps people are giving him credit for because I don't think he was asked to do any more than he did. And a couple of nice winners for you in the bumper front. Fact to file one for JP. He hit the line very hard in his bumper. Yes, two and a half mile bumper. Um, beautiful horse. Uh, he's he's not quick. He's a stayer. Lots of stamina. Um, and it was only when I really, really asked him to pick up in the last furlong that he did. Um, I think he'd come forward from that. Um, but... Uh, you know, I think he's a horse that's going to suit three miles and fences really in, in future. He, he's not not a sharp type, um, but I love his attitude. And um, like I said, I think he'll probably do things a bit quicker with that run under his belt now the next day. And Il Antique, is he a different model? Beautiful horse. Um, will be a little bit lighter, real strong traveller, uh, high cruising speed, but again, not an, an immediate uh, turn of foot um, like, say, Fasad Vega or Redemption Day last year. I was always going to win but I have to go through the gears, you know, I have to, uh, you know, uh, go through all the gears and he, he continued to pick up again. I think he'll learn a lot from that. Um, and he, he's probably more of a bumper type than Pat for file. Uh, but again, for me, he's a horse that would improve when he goes out and trip and over jumps. Patrick, you went close on a, a few others. Did they ask you that? Lucky Watt and Abbey's champs, Crisco, did, did any of those impress you on their debuts? Yeah, did I ask you that was unlucky. Um, he's a very sharp horse. Um, if I had the race again, I probably would have sat for another 10 strides. I turned in thinking I was going to go and win 10 lengths. And, um, you know, he's got tired, but he, he wasn't in our yard awfully long. He came up there, I think, just at the end of November, start of December. Um, so it'd be very unusual for us to run one that quickly. And um, we did it with St. James's Gate and maybe turn it a flyer. Um, but I would think that there's a lot more improvement in him um, for his next run um, and he's obviously got quite we didn't think he had that turn of foot that he showed um, in Leprosan he particularly showed at home but uh, again because he arrived up late we weren't maybe able to do as much with him as we would have with normal horses so he's one he could well be the best of the freedom um, but I, I just think there'll be a lot of improvement in him because he wasn't with us for very long
And Lecky Watson ran a cracker. Uh, that was a very strong run race. I think it was six seconds faster than Champion Hurdle. We didn't hang around. Um, and, you know, nothing got into the race bar the winner. Uh, I think could be very, very good. That's I mode. I know Tom was very sweet in him before the race. Charlie gave him a beautiful ride. Um, and I thought that was probably the best bumper performance of the year. Um, so he's going to be very hard to beat wherever he goes. But Lecky Watson, it's very unlucky that he hasn't won a race yet. Um, I really like him. And I do think... I do think he'd be a very good horse um, and hopefully he'll be four time lucky. Uh, Abbas Champ, she surprised us. Um, you know, she wasn't showing a whole pile at home, um, but she does have a lovely pedigree and it sort of rode her to run well to a degree. Um, and it took a while for the pen to drop turning in. I thought it was going to be third or fourth. Um, and then in the last furlong, she's really started to, to, to race home. But the winner, the winner might go under the radar. The winner is a fantastic pedigree, might take you that kicking king pedigree. Um, and showed a, a huge turn of foot, uh, turning in and kept going. Uh, you know, we were 15 and cleared the rest. So um, the winner definitely could be won for the DRF Mayor's bumper. But again, Abbas Champ surprises, and I think there's a lot of improvement in her. And then lastly, Chris Go was very disappointing. Um, he'd done some lovely bits of work. Um, he'd gone to Thurlis, gone very well. Um, they went a real strong gallop again in Fairy House, and I thought the horses would maybe come back, fall into my lap. Um, but even before we've turned in, I'm having to squeeze them along. I'm, I know I'm sitting and not moving around, but I'm not, not, um, not sitting on much. Um, so I think he's better than that. Maybe he just wants better ground.